for making fire in dynamics you have to go to fluids and we have this 3d container go to this option box and you can see we have lots of settings here so let me reset the settings that in case i do have previous settings or not so we don't have any kind of settings here so first of all this is a emitter and we don't need any emitter in this uh, any kind of fire simulation and uh, this is apply and close and we we'll have this grid and this is a container and let me put it exactly in the middle of this thing and go to our tribute editor and you can see we have a lot of settings to do in here so first of all we have these boundaries and we have this x y and z so first of all make it none so you don't need any boundaries at all and the base resolution is going to be uh, 100 but for the time being i'm making it 10 because of otherwise it will you know lag your uh, your viewport so now we can go for this content method and you can here we have this temperature make it uh, dynamic grid in this case so uh, temperature means fire and we need to have this in the grid here and we have to go to uh, display and how the box is going to be displayed in this viewport so this is a boundary draw is bottom so i like to be in this bounding box so we have only the cage of that container now we have this dynamic simulation and here we have a lots of thing to do first of all we have this viscosity and viscosity we need to make this uh, 0 0.010 so this is a cool and good number for this viscosity and we have this dampening dampening we have to make it point 0 to 5 which is a very pretty good amount for any kind of fluid simulation and we have to have this high detail solve which is in this case going to be all grid and here we can come and simulation rate scale and this is like 1.5 uh, you have to make it very fast movement in your uh, fire that is why you have to put it high a bit and we have this uh, auto resize and uh, choose auto resize and we have this uh, resize uh, this you have to make it turn off otherwise that boundary is not going to be calculated and here we can use this max resolution in this case uh, 2000 and we don't need any kind of uh, auto resize threshold and auto resize margin is going to be 3 and uh, go to contain details and we have this density and here we have uh, buoyancy i don't need any buoyancy and dissipation is going to be 2 for this uh, simulation and we have this tension is going to be uh, 10 0.010 and we have this uh, Tension force is going to be 50 and we have this uh, gradient force 35 and velocity we have this swirl make it 10 and the noise is going to be 2 and turbulence is 0.1 that's okay and temperature buoyancy not needed and here we have this uh, dissipation make it 3 and we have this 0 0.01 and uh, we have this turbulence with 50 and this is also 0 0.050 the tension is going to be in the temperature section so this is the uh, you know simulation settings you have should do for any kind of fire and now we have to go to this uh, shading and here we can see we have this drop off shape has to be off and we have this color and we need to have two colors in here and uh, first of all this is going to be you can see we have this uh, color management is there so we have to make this display space always while choosing any kind of color and you should have into display space 
So this is going to be red and which is going to be very dark. And here we can select this one and make this a uh, bit dark gray kind of thing. So this is the, we make it more darker like this. So this is the fire side and this is going to be the smoke side. So you can make it more darker if you want to. Now we have this uh, input color and we have this constant. It has to be uh, density in this case and we have input bias and 0.9 and we can go for this uh, color settings make this here and we can take a red color and not that much brighter and you can have a white color instead yellow and here we can increase the yellow a bit so this is how the yellow we have here so we can put it right there and input bias is very important in this uh, uh, incadences for the fire color now we have this uh, opacity we can use this like this kind of opacity is fine and here we have input bias make it point 0.1 and uh, for sharing quality make it smooth for lighting self shadow and for the lighting these are viewport lighting and uh, there is no relation with this uh, rendering at all so what you should do uh, you should put the camera such a way that you see exit access should indicate the left side of your screen so this is how you can get a proper uh, lighting viewport lighting without touching this section at all so this is the uh, you know by default good looking result we'll get in this uh, viewport if you put this uh, z-axis left side otherwise you have to play with these settings to get your proper shadow and lighting thing in the viewport so this is pretty much it for fire and basically i use these settings for almost every fire i have i have in my scene so now i need to have a tree here so we have to go to content browser and here we can have this prop and here we have this tree you can take any tree and right click and import this and it will be imported in the viewport and this is very very huge uh, tree and you can make this very, very small because what we need to do we need to fit this section inside the box so we can go up so here we have this is pretty good and everything is uh, we can make it more small here so the entire thing is inside the box this is what i want and one more thing you can see that the camera angle is proper so i can get a camera and go for this resolution gate to fit the camera properly now see this is the camera i need to have but i need to change the silhouette of this so this is cool the silhouette of the this tree is looking good in this view and everything is perfect so i have done lots of thing in here so i can do go to modify and this freeze transform will fix everything here now for the emitter what you need to do you have to duplicate this and hide any one of them and then just you have to delete uh, the so go to and delete this and here so put it right here so we need to apply some texture in it because of the whole object is not going to be catching fire the some places is going to be catching fire so 
the benefit of this uh, tree is it is it has proper uv in it so you can see that uh, we have proper uv so whenever you are having any kind of uh, you know object which is your own model so you have to uv this first so having this uv we can go for this uh, blend and you have you can go for here and have this blend material i can come here in this color section and go for this noise and here in amplitude we can make it four and here in time create uh, expression middle mouse drag and drop space equal sign time start to and create so you can see we have uh, some purple color so we have some timing so i have uh, put some animation in this and we have this pearly noise as a noise type which is really really nice for any kind of uh, this kind of simulation and if i press six key you can see this uh, uh, this texture here and if i play you can see this playing so this is not into fps a proper fps is 24 fps has to has to it has to be so now you can see the this thing is playing properly now the white area is going to be emitting the fire and the smoke but the black area is not going to emit so this is the new pattern we have here that will be having a nice uh, looking look into the fire and smoke cool so so we have this noise so we can copy this and what we can do select it and select this one and go for this effects and fluid simulation and here we have this image from object so here reset the settings i have the habit to reset everything and create it and we have this uh, emitter created and go for this emitter and we have to have some changes in this emitter as well so first of all we need to paste the thing which is a map in here and here as well so in fuel i don't need to no enemy no emission i need and you can increase the uh, the you know density of it because of the fluid simulation is taking place in a very you know small area which is in a centimeter so we need to increase this a lot of smoke is going to be emitting from here and now here we can see emission speed attribute is going to be add and here make it 50 to get some inherit velocity from this container and here we can come for uh, turbulence and the detailed turbulence so this is pretty much uh, the thing i do in my emitter and that is it so save this uh, make the habit to saving your file always because of after all it is dynamics your machine can freeze any point of time so now i can freeze my this uh, camera because of accidentally i can so go to display show all and i can you know hide this and lock this so lock this one and this is this uh, i don't need also these things so first of all i can lock them visibility off right click and lock them and i don't need it from here so i can go for this uh, right click and hide from outliner so now i don't need this also so i can hide it from the outliner because of while do, doing any kind of thing in Maya, you should maintain a clean, proper outliner to, you know, work with. It's very easy to understand what is going on. Now we have this and let me first go to a play blast. Let's see what is happening in here. Make the scale high. So image Maya and scale is high and play blast. 
So we have something, but in this case, it is very, very low resolution. This is base resolution is 10 only. So make this 50 for this demonstration, but the, the play blast is going to be 100 in the final one. And for the direction, what you need to do, select this and go for this uh, effect. And here we have this gravity. In gravity, you can make this magnitude 70. And this is why it's going to be up. Select once again, go to here. Gravity, make it uh, 0. And you can see this is minus uh, Z because of... Uh, the fire should rise here, make it 70 as well, and let's see that uh, how it is going to be. Now you can see that we're having some fire, forming fire. So you can see the it is happening in a proper way, but now I need to change this to blend because of this is not matching with this is distracting and what we can do I can increase the settings this is 100 and now I can save this and make a play blast now we have got the play blast now and you can see the motion of the fire is very interesting so this is the main thing you have here in this uh, fire simulation technique so hope you have liked it thanks a lot for watching